have to get the, my first draft of my next book into my agent tonight, so she's got time to read it before the deadline at Walker. I've retreated to bed to try and get it done and not getting up until I've sent it off. But obviously, instead of actually doing any work, I'm just watching some girls Muji station Your hall. Idea? Why well, am I so obsessed with Muji? The Mate. Anyway, back to work. I will finish this. I will finish this tonight, maybe. Still going. Still not done. I think I've got about 70 pages left. I'm so tired. I'll get there. I will. I'm going to do it. I'm literally just listening to this song on repeat. Come on, give me some energy, Hanson. Give Go on, then. Raining, is it? <laughs> sent it off to my agent which I'm very happy about um, so what will happen with my book is my agent will read it and she'll give me some feedback and then I'll have four or five days to change it based on her feedback before it's due in on the 20th at Walker and my editor's coming back from maternity leave and if she wants it for the day she comes back so she can start working on it maybe out autumn 2018 so over just over a year like 13 months from now so we, we're quite ahead of schedule we've got a good long time to edit it and get it ready just went and gave blood and ended up feeling really faint so I'm a bit annoyed about that if you've got any tips for how to not feel faint when you give blood I would appreciate it because it would be so annoying if I had to stop exciting today so I thought I would share that with you look <gasps> dun, dun, dun. that's the cover for my short story about Clove and Ella which is going to be free it's designed to match the cover for another together which was like lines to go with the next together cover and this one's circles to go with the last beginning cover with the castle in the background I love that so yeah so I'm really excited about that I can't wait to announce it I've been keeping it secret for ages while I work on it so we've had to extend the deadline for submitting unnamed book four, there is a name but I'm not telling you yet, uh, to Walker uh, because Claire, my agent, hasn't finished reading it yet. So hopefully she won't have any massive changes uh, and I'll be able to get it done before next week, like over the weekend. Uh, I'm making changes at the minute that I know need doing and then I'll be working on what she's doing. So I'm going to be quite busy in the run up to Yelk and then I'll send it off. I'm looking forward to a few days of nothing but yelk. draft today. <laughs> She's the first person 
to read it like out of anyone I asked her to like rank my books and she said the last beginning is always going to be her favorite because it was the first time she read one of my books and was like Laura can actually write this is actually a good book because the next together was a load of crap in the first draft um, and she like cried like four times when she was reading the last beginning because she felt like she was reading a crapper book so she said that's always going to be her favourite because it was such an emotional thing but this is probably her second favourite like even better than Loneliest which I think is going to be always be in like one of the top books I ever write because it's such a neat clean plot because it's so it's only got one person it's it's just a very tidy book and I always think it's going to be one of the best books I write but she said she prefers this one too. It was the most complete first draft she thinks I've written so I've written five books so far so I'm getting a lot better at doing like first drafts that work and don't really require a lot of editing and yeah she said it felt the most complete out of any of them so that's really good because so ideally with every book you want to spend less and less time editing because you're getting better at writing so that's the aim anyway. Loneliest took like the least amount of time to edit out of any of my books like by far like we sent, spent like over a year editing the, the next together and then the loneliest it only took like two months so hopefully this will be going down and down and down. If I'm doing this for my whole life I don't want to always be editing. I want to get more and more books out every year. There's a robot in it, she loved the robot she said it was very Howl's Moving Castle. Anything compared to Howl's Moving Castle is a massive compliment. This is a good sign. Obviously my mum is super biased because she's my mum. But if she likes it, then there's a good chance that my agent will like it. And that's all that matters really. I wanted to show you my shelves. This is like my contemporary shelf. And then this is historical. And this is like historical with magic. These are my favourites. And then this is science fiction. in sort of documents at the start of each chapter like I did in the next together and the last beginning so I'm going through each chapter and writing those and they're really good they're like surprisingly useful at extending the plot in ways I hadn't even considered so which is why I put them in the last beginning because they make you think about stuff more getting to like 78,000 words now so I've added 8,000 words since I finished it because I think I finished it at like 70,000 words so that's just going over it and adding in things and making sure scenes made sense and 8,000 is a lot to add so I clearly did a very sparse first draft. I just got a package from Walker, I think it's my book. It is, it's my book. Shiny, look how shiny it is. Oh, that's so cool. I think. I'm gonna end this vlog here because I think it's getting quite long now. And I used two different cameras in this video. One was a GoPro and one was like an old digital camera. I'm gonna get a proper camera at some point. But for now, can you leave me in the comments which camera you preferred? This is the GoPro and it's like fisheye. The other one is the normal one. Obviously neither of them are perfect. I am working on it. I'm very new to YouTube and I'm trying my best for you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna get there eventually. Sort myself out of all the hardware. It's one of those things that you can't do 
unless you've got the kit. So I'm definitely going to carry on. I'm really enjoying it. I've got like a q and A. I'm going to film, and I'm going to do some collabs with Alice Oseman and Lucy Powery, and yeah, it's going to be really good. So see you soon. Bye.